Hey, welcome. We're going to have a little whiteboard discussion. My name is Henry Noel, and we're going to talk about impulse weightlifting and how it carries over into our athletic performance. So we're going to get a little touch on the science of things and then how we can have some practical applications in our training and carry over into our performance uh, playing sports. So the first thing that we want to talk about is that impulse. So we've always seen the, uh, the Incredible Hulk uh, jump sky high and then he leaves this big huge crater underneath of him and he's up in the sky leaping jumping. So let's look at it at a realistic level with an athlete. So let's say we have an athlete, 14, 15 years old, weighs between 140 and 160 pounds, okay? So we have to have, here's our ground, we have to have this impulse into the ground that's going to carry up to having us, say, jump a certain height, okay? So what we want to be able to do is apply enough force into the ground and transmit that energy through our body so that we carry it over into ballistic athletic performance. So we need an impulse like this in order for us to carry over into a higher jump height or an explosive uh, maneuver. All right, say only the athlete comes in and we're only then able to put an impulse to the ground here, but we need to have it here in order to reach this uh, maximal output. So what's the significance of this? Well, on every single step or every time we attempt to load and jump out, or we take a step before we have a collision or a change of direction, these impulses occur upon us, okay? Or we create these impulses. And then we've got to counteract to a certain amount of ballistic energy output there so that we can continue to move at a higher level of performance. If we have an athlete that is only here on that impulse level, then our level of ballistic ability is at a lower level. So what we need to be able to do is have the proper progressions uh, for an athlete to increase that ability to have an impulse, have a proper alignment, and the mechanics to, to be ballistic in the muscles to uh, come out with that high end output. So one thing that we like to use is weightlifting. Weightlifting is a great way to get this done because really we're looking at having this ability to stretch and contract the muscles with uh, a compounding energy output on that movement. So whenever we're talking weightlifting, we're doing exactly that. We're taking an external load, we're putting tensions on the muscles, and those muscles are going to carry over into a ballistic energy. So during weightlifting, we do exactly that. We have what's called a double knee bend, but primarily emphasizing today that power position where, where you have the athlete's torso, their, their femur, their, their shins, their feet, and they're in this 120, 130 degree knee angle and this upright torso looking at that vertical displacement. But first, we've got to be able to have that core strength and that ability for those muscles to stretch and contract rapidly. So they want to stretch under a load and contract rapidly. Now we've got to have the athlete go through the proper uh, regimen, training regimen, so that they can handle uh, the load. If we have too much loading and we're getting a very large eccentric stretch and our concentric is not very ballistic, then we're not hitting the proper training loads right there. And whenever we're talking weightlifting, we're talking about the sport of weightlifting, the snatch and the clean and jerk and how that carries over into creating a greater impulse for each step and our muscles are adapting to be able to have that stretch reflex ability and then producing that greater power output. So with the sport of weightlifting, we emphasize that type of training in our our, our protocols so that we can start loading that athlete at a young age and having them understand the concept of their mechanics, their kinesthetic awareness and why they want to have that energy return as quickly as possible, reducing that amortization aspect of uh, any loading phase into a ballistic concentric output. So again, with weightlifting, primarily focusing on that power position today, say we're doing uh, hang pulls or something of that nature, uh, counter movement shrugs, we're looking at creating a greater impulse and then having to adapt and come over top of that 
with that external load. Now that external load could be sometimes all the way up to their body weight. It might have to be lower than their body weight. And then sometimes at a greater athletic performance, elite athletic performance, it could be two times their body weight. Uh, on that external load. But with that being said, that impulse has to be greater each time to really have that ballistic output at a greater weight or whenever it comes over to athletic performance, being able to take the load of having your football pads on or your lacrosse gear on and, and taking that load from each step or cutting and then coming out with that same performance level as if you didn't have that equipment on or as if you are much stronger than what's uh, summoned upon you during those athletic maneuvers. Okay, So the emphasis here is looking at do we have a great enough ability to overcome the forces that are imposed upon us during sport and what we're trying to primarily look at is developing that athlete, loading them in a ballistic manner so that they can create that impulse and then have a greater ballistic output therefore reducing injury, enhancing performance and pretty much creating a greater athlete.